Hey guys, this is Felix, our six-year-old Samoyed, and I'm his mom, Julia, and this is... His dad, Sven. <laughs> and together we travel the world and share everything online. So we are basically pet influencers, so dog influencers, and this is how we make a living and in today's video we will share how we got started and actually earn money with it. A lot of people with dogs online ask us how we actually started and how we got to the situation to be an influencer or a pet fluencer. So if you're interested in also becoming a pet fluencer yourself, this video is for you and we will also share all the most important parts on how to actually monetize and how to make money and make a living out of it. Let's just give you some background information. Sven and I always wanted to travel the world. We also have a college degree, so we studied, but we never really wanted to work in this field. So six years ago, when we got Felix, we were already posting some of our travels online, but not that much and also not that often. But whenever we posted something with Felix in it, like a photo or a video, people said like, oh, he's so cute, I wanna see more. And then uh, we made a channel just for him and it kind of, yeah, it didn't go viral, but people were showing lots of interest. So we were like, okay, maybe uh, we should spread more of the happiness he gives us every single day to the world out there. After a few months of posting almost every single day, we had our first pet fluencer collaborations that actually allow us to live the life that we are still living nowadays because the reason we are doing all of this is to be able to spend as much time as possible together to just travel the world together with Felix be with him every single day we don't have to leave him um, alone all day because we have to work somewhere else or something we basically work together yeah, most of the time he only sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Many people think that being an influencer or a pet influencer is very easy and in fact it's easy in, in terms of anyone can do it so you can create an account and just start but it takes a lot of time and effort to actually keep it going and to get it to a certain level and to monetize it yeah and in this video we will share our tips and tricks so you can do the same and you should probably start by creating your account on a social media platform or on many social media platforms you probably know all of them YouTube Instagram TikTok and whatnot and all those different social media platforms also have different types of content so if you decide to be active on YouTube you'd have to be active in creating longer term videos like this one for example or if you go to Instagram you would have to take photos and short type videos or in TikTok the same thing. The monetization of these platforms works a little different so I think I think some of our followers actually believe that if we post on Instagram every day, this is so this is what we do, we even post several times per day, um, that Instagram pays us, but this is not the case. <laughs> so we don't get any money from Instagram. The only way for us as Europeans um, to get paid is by uh, having sponsored uh, partnerships so uh, promoting content from other brands that we've tested and that we love and share on our account this is how we make money on Instagram I think in the States you also can earn money with the partner program on Instagram but for Europe this doesn't work for TikTok it's different they pay their creators but it's so little so you basically have to have millions and billions of views to actually live from that. And for the creator, YouTube is, in my opinion, the friendliest platform because if you upload long form videos, you get paid per click and the payment is really good compared to short form videos that is, yeah, not, not really well. So what we recommend is to maybe start with one platform and go all in, but after a while start to um, include all platforms and upload your content on um, all the different platforms because this way you will be able to reach much more people. 
But if you do it that way, it obviously takes consistently more of your time. So that is why we cannot recommend you to just quit your current job and uh, go all in on social media. Make sure to keep your job and to just be active on social media on the side. And while you're doing that, keep it growing, keep it growing. And then eventually at some point you can maybe quit your job and make a living out of social media full time. But it can take a while. So of course you don't get paid from the very beginning. Um, you're more interested for brands once you've reached a certain amount of followers, but you don't really have to have millions. Nowadays, micro influencers that are active in a certain niche can also have a very big impact that is interesting for certain brands that sell products in this niche. So you don't really have to wait to reach like 10k or 100k, nothing will change there. Then you can also start working with brands much earlier, but we will tell you more about that later. For now, you just have to get started. And I think getting started is easy, but being consistent is what's most important. So maybe you can have a little challenge for yourself and start to post daily for, let's say, one month or maybe two, and then see where it takes you. Because people always think this is super easy, but uh, having something to share and talk about every single day might be easy for a few days, but try to do it every day for a longer period of time. <laughs> what I would recommend to get started is to just pick a few of your favorite content creators. Let's say dog account ABC and then analyze them. So what do you like most about these? dog or cat or whatever uh, accounts. So uh, are they funny? Do they share some value, like give special training tips or um, I don't know, whatever it is, just write it down and then try to create some content with different topics in mind. I tell you this because in the beginning you don't really know what works best for you. So we kind of just started posting every day and then after a while we realized, oh, people really, really love it when Felix wiggles his ears at beautiful places. So he has this little ear dance that he does all the time. And uh, it's, a, it's a six second short term video. Oh. He has better things to do, <laughs> he's leaving. So what I was trying to say is in the beginning you don't really know what works best. You have to analyze it first and the only way to do this is by trial and error. So just start putting content out there and be consistent. After a while you will see, ah, okay, the short ter term videos with let's say five seconds where my pup is doing funny things uh, they are most popular, so I will do more of these videos. When it comes to your equipment, like your camera equipment or your editing softwares and skills, you really don't have to think about that too much. Nowadays, your phones would work perfectly for taking pictures or videos. The same thing goes for the editing software, so you can basically edit all those photos on Instagram or you can download any editing app for videos or photos. It is very, very simple. Of course, you can also spend money for those high-end softwares like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro or like Photoshop and stuff like that. But you really don't have to do that when you start out. You probably don't even have to do that when you are monetizing your content already. So there are so many easy and simple options out there nowadays. Just start by using the editing software in TikTok and Instagram themselves. The platforms really like it when you do it. I think they push your content more if you use it. A few years ago, it was also very important to stick to a special niche. I think nowadays this is not that important anymore. There are many accounts out there that just share their lifestyle. Sometimes it's about cooking, the other day it's about traveling, the next day it's about fashion. So just have um, something you're excited about. Sorry, the battery was exhausted, but what I wanted to say is if you share what you do with passion, then people will like it. And for the beginning, if you have no idea what type of content to post, maybe you can start with some easy trends in the pet niche. There are always many trends 
that are trending. <laughs> so you can also try to create your own version. But only sharing trend content will not help your channel grow organically. So eventually, at some point, you will have to find some type of content or some kind of trend that... You that are famous yeah, for. Yeah, that you are famous for, that you defined yourself and that people will instantly recognize you for. Like Felix Ear Dance. <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> Another tip to stay consistent are planning tools. So for example, if you plan a full week of content, put it into your drafts on Instagram or TikTok, like the videos or for photos, we always use the app preview. So we just have to click post and then we can post every single day. This helps us on busy days when we don't really have time to edit something. There are so many other small things to consider, like for example, how do you edit your thumbnails or stuff like that. But those are so many small factors and it just would be too much for this video. So we will try to keep it short right here. Let's now talk about the most interesting or important part which is monetization because of course it's fun to share your content online and for some people this is enough but if you put so much time and effort into this and to post every single day it really takes so much of your time um, so you really want to get paid like in a normal job where you invest so much of your time. There are different ways to get paid as a creator. As I said before, like these um, creative funds, for example, on TikTok or on YouTube, but you can also have brand deals like collaborations when you promote products or sometimes hotels or events invite you and uh, you get paid for that or it's more like an exchange of values so you get like a free night for posting something about the hotel for example in the end it always depends how you negotiate with the brand or the company but please don't work for free. So in the beginning, I know many people always say like, ah, oh, yes, I get this for free. Okay, I will take it and give you my work for free. But you'll soon realize that after a few months of doing this, you can't live from it. I mean, you can't pay your rent with a the product with a vacuum <laughs> for example and it's also bad for the industry because if many creators work for free the other ones who want to get paid they don't get paid because the brands can also work with the creators who do it for free to actually get brand deals in the first place you can get active yourself so you can get in touch with those brands you can just find out their emails from their Instagram accounts. Most of the time you will find them there. You can create an own media kit with some of your photos and the most important things about your accounts. So what can you provide as value for the brand and for the collaborations? And you can also add in all those very important statistics that all those partners want to see. Another thing you can do to get active and to get brand deals is get in touch with agencies so they can also help you to actually get brand deals and get paid for your work. Another thing we do is having our own shop and selling our own products. This is also something that you can put up after a while once you have a bigger following and people that are maybe interested in your own products. But there are so many more points to consider, so many small things. This would just be too much for this video. In the next weeks, we will also publish a guide on how to become a successful pet freelancer. So make sure to subscribe to our different accounts. We will probably share this on Instagram. So don't miss it. <laughs> In the end, what matters most is to be consistent, as I said before. So just try to have a little challenge for yourself and post every single day. And of course, you have to create some value for other people. Why should they watch your content? What is the meaning behind it? Do you want to make someone smile or do you want to teach something? So yeah always keep that in mind too. If you have any other questions, make sure to just ask them in the comments below. We will try to answer them, of course. And like Julia already said, make sure to follow our account so you won't miss our future updates or our future guide we will share. So <laughs> Felix yes. will go to sleep right now. <laughs>
<laughs> and we will see you again next week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.